Father God, please forgive us, Lord Jesus, for so often apologizing to the world that we are Christians and for what we believe in and for what we stand for. Father, forgive us. Amen! Amen. Father God, this afternoon, give us courage to speak out in public about the blatant corruption, lying, stealing, taking place in this nation, starting with the government, then filtering right down to the man in the street. We obviously love you, Lord, but we don't fear you. Father, forgive us. Amen! God of mercy, we are so very sorry for turning a blind eye to the systematic and deliberate murder of tens of thousands of unborn babies in South Africa. Precious little souls who never even see the light of day. Father, forgive us. Amen! Please, Lord Jesus, forgive us for condoning same-sex marriage and then calling it an alternative lifestyle, knowing full well that it is contrary to your word. Father, forgive us. Amen! Amen. This is a very important one. And this one affects our young people. The students in this place. Yes, yes, I'm very poor I love you. The students are going to run this nation in 10 years' time. Listen to, listen to this prayer. Wait. Father God, forgive us for provoking our young students to wrath causing them out of sheer frustration to burn down their own universities because of the lies and the false promises that have been made to them by the authorities. Reassure them today, Lord, that you have heard their cries and show them a better way. Amen! Lord Jesus, forgive us for not respecting our elders, our old people, for not seeking their wisdom and their counsel, for not loving them and looking after them in their old age. Father, forgive us. Amen! Amen. Father, please forgive us for allowing immorality to get totally out of hand like a runaway bushfire for allowing even our youngest children to have access to pornography at will to accept fornication that means sleeping with someone who's not your spouse fornicators are not going to heaven Young girl, that boy insists on sleeping with you. He does not love you. He is using you. Stop that relationship this afternoon. Come on. Lord, we are very sorry for not protecting our women, our small children, for not being good fathers. Many people here this afternoon are subjects of a fatherless nation. Please forgive us and help us to start protecting the women and the children in this nation.
Amen. Father, forgive us for not calling sin by its name. From today onwards, Lord, Holy Spirit, more courage, more boldness, please. Amen. Lord Jesus, we do not have the right words to adequately express our shame and our sadness for the racial hatred between black and white in this beautiful country of ours. Please forgive us. Amen! 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 Forgive us for having total disregard for the value of human life. Violence. It must stop. It must stop today. Amen! Thank you, Lord, for our police force, for our justice system. Holy Spirit, impress upon them that this book will give justice and wisdom like no country on earth has ever seen before. In Jesus' name, Amen! Then we want to finish with one verse. You all know it off by heart. Two Chronicles. Chapter 7, verse 14. If you know it, you can say it with me. If my people... If my people... Which people is that? If my people will call by my name, will humble themselves, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven i will forgive their sins and i will heal south africa As we close, remember God heard that prayer. Amen. Some of you got to go home, you got to do a lot of sorting out. Start with your husband, your wife, your children, your next door neighbor. We've got 300 intercessors that have been praying for months for this meeting. Your work has been successful. Give them a clap. 300! <laughs> 